Well, good morning, YouTube. All right, guys, it's 10 a.m. We're starting to open up. We've already got three or four bikes here in line, so we're gonna get these curtains opened up the rest of the way and get our stuff moved out of the way so we can get to work. Well, I gotta say, I am really liking the way the shop is looking this morning. As soon as we open up, four bikes, all four lifts full. But one thing I don't like the look of. Looks like some asshat tagged us last night. I'm gonna go grab some uh, Amsoil MP and see if it takes it off. Well, that was a no-go. I'm not sure if it's a marker or a Sharpie or a paint pen. I don't know what it is, but we'll go to the next step. Well, since that didn't work, we'll try the Amsoil brake parts cleaner, see if it works. All right, guys. Looks like we managed to get it off, but I know the brake clean is gonna strip whatever wax is on here. Not that there's much, I haven't waxed this thing in like a long, long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with some Miracle Wash afterwards because this does leave like a protective residue on there. So I just wanna put back what I took off. Well, I don't know what else I can say on YouTube at least describe how I feel about people that have no respect for other people's property. All right, guys, while we were in Daytona, I had a gentleman come up to me and he offered me this product called the One Wipe. And apparently it's really popular over in Europe. And uh, they're kind of marketing it here for the use on motorcycles and whatnot. It comes in the, the large bottle like that, but you can also get them in like little packets. It comes with a cleaning wipe and then a microfiber cloth. So I guess you use the cleaning wipe to wipe it first, and then after you're done, you go back and polish it out with the microfiber. So he gave it to me and he asked me that uh, we'd do a demo on it on the bike and see what we thought. So I told him I will, but we're gonna be 100% honest about it. So we are gonna go ahead and give it a try here. And uh, Amanda's gonna do the honors and we'll see what she thinks. All right, Amanda, go for it. So now that you used it, tell us your honest opinion on what you think of the product. I think my honest opinion of the product is that it does a very good job. It gives a very nice, clean, polished, shiny look at the end. It definitely doesn't use any water. However, it is a product that I feel it's more than one or two steps. It's definitely three steps. You have to wipe it, dry it, and then go back and polish it to truly get the nice high sheen gloss. Okay. But it works good. It's just a little bit more effort it has to be put into very, it. very, very good. Okay. 
sounds good. All right, guys, so check it out. I don't really need this stuff, but I promised the guy that we would do a review on it, and we've done that. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna convert this video into a short, and we're gonna post it right now. So even though you're seeing this in this video, we're gonna give this away to the first person that comes up and says, hey, I saw your one wipe video. I'd like to have the product. So guys, act now. Come and get it. Hi guys, so I just edited that one white video into a short and I'm trying to upload it now. But in that time, I was doing that. We got four more bikes should open line. I think Chip's got one done over there. So we're gonna go move one off, move the next one on. All right, actually looks like we got two of them done and the other two are just getting ready to come down. So we'll probably do a full swap, all four off four new ones loaded up now it's a little bit after 11 and uh we still hadn't even started this motorcycle yet so katie's gonna go out here and fire it up crowded down the way but we got the last bike of our rush up on the lifts these three are now clear so we're getting caught up with uh no one else in line unfortunately so we may have just had a big rush and a little bit of nothing now looking back on our sales from last year and our expected is really not much different than what we actually did yesterday so it looks like saturday was our really big day last year so if we get a little bit more today, we'll be happy. Like I said, it's only a little bit afternoon. We've got hours and hours and hours to make up what we need. We're already halfway to our sales goal for the day. again are full and we've got two in line so it's picking up definitely better than yesterday
right guys, two o'clock. All four lifts are full once again, or still I should say. We had that little bit of a low for a little bit, but it's long gone. At the moment, we don't have a line. This was the last bike that came in. We got it up right away because I just unloaded uh, that green bike that's sitting right there. But all in all, it's a good day. We have uh, made our daily sales goal already, so can't go anywhere but up from here. All right guys, yesterday when Kenneth Moore was here, he asked whether the tamale lady had been here yet or not. And that got me jonesing for him. And she hadn't come until just now. So now we have tamales. We bought four dozen for the crew to eat. And uh, I'm just here picking out on them. Guys are chowing down on them. We love these things. She comes by every year and we buy a bunch of them from her. Can I get through here? Okay, go ahead. Thank you guys, have a good one. So it's now about 20 minutes until four and we've uh, slowed back down a little bit more below we still have this one motorcycle here on the lift it's finished just waiting for the customer to come back parking is very limited here so since the guy's not here waiting for it and there's no line just let it sit there rather than pushing it out in the middle of the street someplace where it's uh, kind of in other people's way <laughs> Man, the weather is still perfect. It's just a beautiful day. It's breezy, but not windy. It's warm, but it's not hot. Just a great day. There's obviously lots of people out here enjoying the rally.
you might be a couple still shots of you. Yeah. After four, and I went for a little bit of a walk. And as you can see, when I came back, I had three bikes up on the lifts, and we got quite the crowd here. So, correction, we got three on the lift, and we got one right here in line still. So, I'm going to get this one loaded up real quick, and so the guys get started on it.
Alright, just about 6.30 at night. As you can see, the sun is starting to go down over the Hotel Portico. And uh, we're still got a lot of people walking around. We've still got bikes up on the lift. We're not in a rush. We don't have a line or a wait. But we've been somewhat steady still, just to bike in here and there. We've definitely beat last year's sales, so it's good. I'm more worried about tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big day. It'll be hard to beat those sales. working on his drum and uh, we threw Katie's Can-Am up on the lift just to, uh, I don't know, let people see a Can-Am up there so that they know that we do service and stuff like this. So. Guys, at about 8:30, we got another motorcycle in for a Supreme oil change. And this customer already had love jugs installed, but they weren't wired to work with the key, so we're going to fix that for them and get rid of this mess here, and make it work the way it's supposed to. Yeah. Guys, it's almost 10 o'clock at night, and after that blue soft down, we haven't had anything for like the last 45 minutes or an hour, but there's still a lot of people walking around. They still got the concert going on down at the park. I did go down and record a little bit of that, but we're gonna separate that for another video because this one would just be too long with it. That will come out sometime later. All right, so it's 10 p.m. and we haven't had a motorcycle in in a couple of hours. Most of the other service vendors are all closed up just like they were last night. Now, Rick Rack is still open and sometimes I kind of hate closing now before they do. Uh, they started closing last night, which kind of initiated our close, but D&D &D is closed, JP is closed, Speeds is closed, everybody else in here is closed, except for the t-shirt vendors. And they're about the only ones that do any business this time of night. So we made the call, we shut the bike off, we're dropping curtains. We're gonna end this video here in just a few minutes.
I'm assuming that the concert just finished up because you can see there's a massive amount of people walking from that direction from this direction towards uh, the motorcycle parking that's down there so I guess everything else is coming to a close as well Right, guys and there goes rick rack putting up their walls and closing down for the night the crowds have died down there's not much more going on so we're gonna end it right here right now tomorrow should be our our big day on paper uh hopefully it will be every bit as good as it was last year but until then we're gonna close this video so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it and until the next time we see you keep those engines running <laughs>